AP Chemistry students, it's Mrs. Construff, your teacher. Um, this video is about what you can expect from AP Chemistry this year. Um, I would like you to actually pause the video right now and find a parent or guardian. I would like them to watch this video with you so they have an idea of what to expect and what this, um, what the videos are going to feel like. Alright, so what you need to know is where to find me. Help is available during 8th period any day. It's also available by appointment. Um, my schedule will be available for you in the classroom so you know which periods I'm open. Um, if, if we need to arrange something, please let me know. The best way to get in touch with me is through email, and my email address is listed there. Perhaps you should enter that into your contact list. Daily Planner will be the method that I use to communicate um, with parents and students about the schedule for the week. It will include our homework and what we're doing in class each day. Moodle will be the place where I will provide the links for um, notes and handouts that we will have in class. YouTube um, is where I will upload each of my videos. My YouTube channel is called Konsdorf Chem, so please um, find that as well. AP Chemistry is going to be what is called a flipped classroom, and you may or may not have heard of that. A really brief introduction to it is this. Within the traditional classroom, which is how I learned in high school and in college, um, during class my teacher or professor would lecture on new information, um, give us all instruction that we needed so that when we went home, our homework would be independent practice or work on that topic. In the flipped classroom, and I'm very excited about this, um, your homework ahead of time is going to be to watch the video, which will include all the new information on the topic, and you will come to class and we will work on that the problems and the application of that topic together. We might also be working on labs, we could be working on um, research or whatever is is suitable for, for what it is that we're learning about. It's also a great time for you to get help from your teacher if there was something that was unclear to you. We will be um, using this pattern. You'll be watching the videos, you'll be summarizing what you watch, and you'll be asking a question each time you watch a video. Now, why flip a classroom? Because it seems like most of us um, that are, you know, the generation, the older generation, uh, did not um, learn in this way. There's a lot of um, information on the internet. One of my favorite resources that discusses why the classroom um, can be flipped is found in this YouTube video. I've provided the link. What you see here is an image of Salman Khan. He is the founder of what's called the Khan Academy. And the Khan Academy has, at this point in time, over 3,000 videos on topics that range from mathematics to science, lots of really good chemistry ones, by the way, to art history to uh, whatever you can think of. And um, he does most of the videos himself. You can hear his voice. But what I provided this link is a link for his TED Talk. So it's him talking about how he believes that video uh, is reinventing education. It's 20 minutes, but it is, it is inspiring. So please watch it if you have the time. Please note that the link that I've given you is case sensitive. Now, required materials for class. I'd like you to have a three ring binder so you can organize your handouts and your notes that we will get in class. You'll also put um, some of your lab reports in there. You'll definitely need a calculator, pens and pencils, and then because we're going to be watching these videos, a flash drive will be a good place to store the videos if you don't want to watch them um, online. And then a pair of headphones so that you can um, use those to listen to the videos. My expectations of you this year will be to watch the video by the deadline. I think this is really important. You'll need to complete the homework. When it's appropriate, you'll collaborate with your classmates. Um, but you always need to do your own work. Come to class prepared with questions from each of the video assignments if there's something that you didn't understand or something that you wanted to ask about. And don't fall behind in watching those videos. It's going to be very tempting for you to not watch the video, but you will not um, get the instruction that you need. Um, participate. Ask questions during class. Get help when needed. I'm not going to be standing up in front and, and going through all of the lecture um, it's going to be much more interactive than that, so you need to be an active part of this classroom. Please also be realistic about your schedule. How many of you have signed up for eight classes this semester and are going to be really, really busy? AP Chemistry is going to require a good amount of time. 
I expect that we'll have about three videos a week, so you'll need to make sure that you have enough time to watch those. And I expect you to be hard or to work hard and be nice to each other, be nice to me. Now, if you don't know this already, this is about the chemistry, um, AP Chemistry credit options. Every single one of you will be getting high school credit, credit from North High School. But some of you may also enroll for dual credit. Um, paperwork is provided in the spring. Um, you can still get it from me if you need it. Dual credit means you can earn high school credit at North High at the same time as you earn college credit through um, NDSCS and you will pay reduced tuition fee. Um, it's an excellent option for those of you that are interested in staying at a North Dakota college. Um, if you have any questions or if you want you know, some advice, you can ask me. Um, the paperwork will be due early in the fall. Uh, AP Chemistry is also, um, of course, it's an AP class, so there's an AP exam. And the exam is in May every year. It's usually towards the beginning of the month. It's scored from a 1 to a 5. A 1 is low, and a 5 is the best score you can earn. Scores of 3 or above um, may earn college credit. depends on which college you go to and what you plan to major in and all those other factors. But that's also a good option. Here's a little bit more about homework. I told you already that video homework assignments would be expected uh, about three per week and you must view it by the deadline. You need to take notes as you go, pause the video. That's the best part. You can pause it if you're you know, falling asleep, then stop. Watch it a little bit later. We may watch it in the morning. You can rewind if you've missed something um, and you can view the videos anytime you wish as many times as you wish. Every video will be less than 15 minutes long. And I know that there is actually a, a typo here. Um, it's on YouTube channel Consturf Chem, not chemistry, chem. I want to be clear about that. Uh, lab reports will also take place. They may be formal or informal. Uh, an informal one may be more like a worksheet or an activity. When the lab reports are due, they're due at the beginning of class. If you turn it in at the end of class or the next day, it'll redu be reduced 10%. If you turn it in two days late, it'll be reduced an additional 10%, so it'll be 20% reduced. If I've graded all the lab reports and handed them back to your classmates, I will not accept any more lab reports. So you would earn a zero on that lab. Labs are really important. You've got to make sure that you turn them in and make sure that they're of high quality. Other homework, we will definitely have worksheets, problems from online, problems from your book, um, maybe a project or something you know special. You just need to make sure that you're keeping up see me for help if needed, and we'll address those specifics about that other type of homework in class. If you miss class, um, the videos are going to be your greatest asset. If you miss a lab, now this is really important, if you miss a lab, you need to make up that lab right away. When, I, when you get back to school, come and find me, schedule a time. Don't schedule every other thing first, like your math test and your English quiz and your Spanish listening project. Please. Um, schedule the lab because I have to take those labs down um, really quickly because I share the lab with three other teachers. If you miss work time that we do in class, you'll need to work on your own. Watch that video again, try to finish those problems that we were working on. I'm really excited for this school year. I'm so excited to be doing the flipped classroom with each of you and so please be um, in communication with me about how it's going, any questions or concerns that you have. Um, we're going to do the best to make this the best experience possible. Thanks. See you soon.